Hey, what's up there, Spaceship Earth? Thanks for tuning in. We got an awesome video today. A lot of people have been asking us, so we're going to talk about one of our favorite foods and benefits of it. Of the honeycomb. Honeycomb! I know a lot of you watching this video have gotten the honeycomb. Look at that honeycomb. This is almost three pounds of honeycomb, and that one's over a pound. And we get it imported from Turkey, which is one of the only countries in the world that has a total ban on herbicides, pesticides, Monsanto. And we've been telling people about it. So check quantumcollective.world. Check our website. We have the honeycomb. The small one is actually a little higher grade. Yeah, but it's sweeter. It's a little sweeter. Yeah. Yes, so we're, so we're going to go over the benefits of it, and let's jump into it. Here we go. Let me pull up screen number one. And, you know, as we always say in our videos, do your research for yourself. But here's a couple of slides and some information that we found to educate you today on why eating the honey. We educated ourselves because we love the honey, and we felt like the vibration for our body. When we first ate it, yes. It was like a vibration. We've never had or felt honey like that and a lot of people ask us too and we've been asking you know people how do you like the honey and this and that and they ask about the wax and the honeycomb itself and the answer is yes absolutely you can eat the honeycomb you're supposed to eat the honeycomb it yeah. actually goes back goes thousands of thousands of years yes even to ancient egypt um Hippocrates wrote about the honeycomb viking used to trade the honeycomb the honeycombs can be used for so many different things, and it is filled with good stuff. Okay, so slide number one, let's jump into it. Health benefits of honey. Okay, well, it, it's very important that it's in the honeycomb, because when the honey, when they make the honey in the honeycomb, they seal each honeycomb because of the high nutrition content that it has. And it also includes, other than the raw honey, it includes the... Um, the royal jelly, the pollen, and propolis. So that's why actually the bees, the queen, and the high hierarchy that they have, they have a long lifespan, like more than 40 years than the workers. So as you see in the chart here, look, it helps heal wounds, maintains blood sugar levels. That's one thing, a misnomer that people think. This is natural sugar. We love sugar. We're like sugar addicts, but we've known over the years does not eat processed sugar, even organic sugar. Pretty much all the food in the U.S. has been tainted, even organic food. Uh, think about this. Bees in the U.S. usually travel, most bees, five to six miles to collect pollen, right? And even when you eat local raw honey, you tell me a town that has an organic farm five or six miles around a beehive. I haven't seen one, especially here in Florida. So eating raw local honey, the bees are collecting honey from genetically modified plants, from people's gardens where our neighbors even here spray chemicals on their plants. Yeah. So the bees are picking up all that stuff. So just because you're eating local raw organic honey doesn't mean it's organic and raw itself. This honey is. This honey is raw and organic. It's got no herbicides, pesticides because this entire country doesn't allow it. So you will taste the difference. But blood sugar levels. Eating the honeycomb with the honey doesn't spike your blood sugar levels. Yeah, it will actually um neutralize it because of the it has a low glycemic index actually the artificial sweeteners or sugars it has a um, an index of 110 or more but when you eat the honeycomb it actually is about 33 so it's actually really low and it also helps um with the cholesterol so it lowers the I back I saw cholesterol. that. That's awesome. I've, I've always had, like, you know, the bad cholesterol. So we've been eating a lot of honeycomb, so this is good news. <laughs> it's also uh, improves athletic performance, rich in antiseptic and antioxidant properties, good source of energy and nutrients. I mean, just look at this yeah, chart. It's antioxidants filled with stuff. is so important because it also helps with the circulation because of the high uh, antioxidants. It also helps as a protection for your organs, for your cells, including like the most important is your liver, um, for removing toxins and also your heart. Another good thing about honey is that it doesn't go bad. Even honey that was found in ancient Egypt, the pyramids, was still good when they unearthed it and tried it out. So look at this chart. Brain health, cholesterol, anti-aging, anti-inflammatory, wound healing, antibiotic, fertility. Royal jelly is believed to aid in fertility by improving the quality of a woman's eggs 
and promoting overall youthfulness of her reproductive organs in the body, and also how to take royal jelly. And then what is royal jelly? Royal jelly is a secretion from the actual bees themselves. It's from them. Actually, in the spiritual sense, we use honey or the bee medicine for wound healing. And that comes from ancient Egypt. And even the the poison. Yes, that's true. Bee from poison. bees is used for many things. I'm sure medicine, a lot of people watching yeah. this video know that. Yeah, it's like it's it's huge as a like if it's an initiation for you when a bee actually chooses you and and you have the poison and also for your skin it has high contents of vitamin E so it's like a natural botox. Mm. Twelve health benefits of royal jelly: strengthens immunity, improves digestion function, promotes youthful skin, regulates blood sugar. Yeah, it helps with circulation. And also, it's amazing for your gut health um, because it's actually um, feeding your microbiome. So your microbiome starts now absorbing more nutrients. So it aids in weight loss. Also reduces Alzheimer's disease symptoms, could increase male fertility, better circulation, excellent for bones, helps to heal wounds faster, anti-inflammatory, reduces the risk of cancer. And accelerates metabolism. And awesome. yeah, for the skin, because the high content of vitamin E will actually has its live vitamins. It has live um, vitamins B6, B12, has A, C, D, and E. So when you have wounds, because it has um, antioxidant, it's antibacterial, antifungal, um, it will not allow infections to replicate in the skin. And it also, it will it will make sure that you will not have a scar when you have a wound. I haven't read that eating the wax of the honeycomb helps keep the moisture in your skin, in your body, right, twice right, right. as much. So yeah. it keeps the body hydrated by eating the wax. Yeah. Now look at this list. I'm not going to go over everything here. It's a lot, <laughs> but this list is just filled with things of the propolis, which is also found in the honeycomb. Yeah, it's huge because that... Um, high anti-inflammatory and the most um, degenerative diseases, that's the main root is the inflammation. So this is huge for healing. Another chart, eight surprising benefits of bee pollen. This is the actual pollen of the honey. Improves fertility, excellent for muscle building, effective against acne and age spots, helps stabilize metabolism for weight control, boost resistant allergies, works to relieve migraine headaches, may help combat prostate problems in men, and improves oxygen-rich red blood cells as much as 25%. Yeah, Super people awesome. say sometimes that, oh, because you're eating the, the honeycomb, you're going to have because of the allergies. And actually, it's the opposite. Because you're eating, yes. you're eating actually the propolis of the pollen. It's going to help, help you with any seasonal allergies. And the last chart we want to show, which is actually eating the whole honeycomb, the benefits of the propolis, the pollen, the royal jenny, and the raw honey. All together, that's what you get in this honey, and it is by far the best honey we've oh ever had, ever, God. ever, ever. And it's, we hope to get the large ones it's, back it's, in. It's so delicious. It is amazing. So, yes, the honeycomb stores the honey, the propolis, the pollen, the willow jelly. This chewy tree can help lower bad LDL cholesterol. And here's a trick we found out. If you take a spoonful of honey with the honeycomb oh, yeah. and put a piece of chocolate on it, we eat raw cacao chocolate. Organic. Agave syrup, organic, only three ingredients. And you put a piece of chocolate mm -hmm. on the spoon with the honeycomb. The chocolate alchemically melts the honeycomb and you do not have the wax in your mouth. It literally melts it. So everyone at home that has the honeycomb is watching this. I know a lot mm -hmm. of you already have honeycomb. Check out Quantum World. But Quantum Quantum <laughs> I'm so excited. So quantumcollective.world or quantumwellnessalchemy.com and see the honey there, and when you get the honeycomb, eat a piece of it with the chocolate on top, and as you chew it, not it melts the honeycomb in your mouth. It melts the wax. The chocolate alchemically melts the wax down. That's a trick we found out. I just had some about 30 minutes ago. Yeah, so did you. yeah, but actually it actually energized me. <laughs> That's actually how we got this video. We were like retired before, we were like, oh, we should retire the video out because we just set like, 10 honeys out a few days ago. So mm -hmm. we know a lot of people want to see this video. So, all right, leave some comments. 
Oh, you want to say something? Yeah, I wanted to say about the wax. It's actually eating the wax is really good at the honeycomb because of the high antibacterial com um, compounds that it has. Mm. It also neutralizes the bacteria in your gums and in your teeth. So it's good to chew it. All right. Hope you all <laughs> like the video. Leave comments below. Subscribe, like, and if you have any questions, let us know. You're Get the honeycomb. <laughs> honeycomb.